journey um, into this um, hall of virtues. Um, virtues that um, parents are instructed to teach their kids as they grow up. And um, virtues that we even, as we grow up, we should seek to acquire. Um, this is a list of virtues that is told to the parents on the day of baptism. And uh, as we uh, heard before, we talked about how they are supposed to sow, we're supposed to acquire the virtue of righteousness, doing the right thing, um, the virtue of praise, to praise God, give thanks, the virtue of purity, to stay, to, to keep our purity, because we came out of baptism pure, to keep purity and how to maintain purity and regain it. Um, the last one we talked about is obedience. Obedience to God, His commandments, to the church, to our fathers, to our elders. Um, definitely four great virtues, but there's still a lot more. You know, think that's a lot, yeah, it's a lot, but there's even a lot more. The list goes on. Um, the next one in the list is love. But we talked about love and the fruits of the Spirit, so I will not uh, rehash that. The, the one after that, so with righteousness, praise, purity, obedience, love, and the next one we'll talk about today is holiness. Holiness. Holiness comes from the word what? We say, we say it a lot. Holy, okay. Now, I'm glad you know that. Now, the question to the side, what does holy mean? Holy, this side, this side. Huh. Like blessed. Blessed. Um, doesn't mean, yeah, that's a result of being holy, it's blessed. But that doesn't mean holy exactly. Holy has a specific meaning. Hmm. Hmm. Yes? Set apart. Set apart. It means sacred. I heard the word sacred, which exactly, okay, sacred and holy are the same thing. But the meaning is what? Huh? Something for God? Okay, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Because holiness comes, all these virtues come from God. And God says, we tell him, holy God, he is the holiness. He is all holy. You know, um, all the, the all holy father, the all holy son, the all holy spirit again. Total holiness. He is the source of holiness. And that's why he says, be holy because I am holy. We are called to be holy because he is a holy. He is holy. So I have to be holy for God, as we just heard. Holy for God. The, 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 the priests, part of the, 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 the attire of the priests in the Old Testament, on their amma or their, their headgear, there was a golden band that says, Holy to the Lord. Holy to the Lord. But that's not just for the priests. We're all asked to be holy because this is what the commandment says, be holy because I'm holy. All of us. It didn't say the priests only be holy or the deacons only. All of us need to be holy. We need to be set apart. Set apart something that is special, something that you don't, it's not common, something is not like a, a, anything goes. Um, it's exactly like we have many holy things in the church. Can you tell me what are some of the holy things? I mean, every, pretty much everything about the church is holy, but there's some holy things there specifically in church. What, what is holy in the church? Huh? The, altar. the altar is holy. That's why... When we come, Kedah, we bow before the altar because it's holy. What else is holy in church? Somebody else. Yeah. I can't hear. Communion. We see it's holy communion. Definitely. That's why communion is not like any other meal. That's why we abstain from food because it's special in its own rank. That's why we abstain from eating anything. So the first thing comes into, into uh, your body is holy communion. What else is holy in church? Your tonia is holy. It's, it's not something that uh, I can just take off and throw in the bottom of a closet or something that I can uh, uh, crumple and put it in the corner of the church or where nobody can find it. Or uh, it's something I need to do. I, I need to treat it with holiness. What else is holy? Huh? The, Bible. the Bible is holy. We say the Holy Bible. It's not like any other book. It's not any, like any other book. It is something that is set apart. It is different from any other book. What else is holy in church? 
The vessels are whole. We talked about the vessels before. How I cannot take this pattern and put a slice of pizza in it after it had the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot, you cannot, you know, do that. You cannot put some soda in that chalice. It is, it it holds the, it holds the the holy sacrament. So I can't. It's holy, set apart. What else is holy? Huh? The crosses, yeah, cross of course is holy. That's why we, 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 we put the sign of the cross, we kiss the cross. Yes, what else is holy? Amen. Well, we said the altar before, huh? Agbez, of course, yeah. Oh, everything in the church is holy, but the icons. Ever, you know, we have a zef and everybody goes and eh, takes blessing from the icon because these are holy. Some of these icons, or should they should all of be consecrated by the holy, my, holy Myron oil. It's the holy Myron oil, the holiest oil in the church. You know what else? Huh? The praises. Of, of everything we do in church is holy. That means it's all it's special. So if we do all these special things, uh, I'll take one more. And I have two more. And what else is holy? The, the icons, yeah, we'll talk about the pictures, yes, what else? Huh? The shoria, okay, good. So, I cannot use the shoria in, in anything else except what it's supposed to do. So you get the idea, if something is holy, if something is special, I cannot use it for any other use. So, if the vessels are holy, the shoria, the Bible, everything we mention is holy, we are the ones who eat from... The body of, uh, you know, we take, we take the Holy Communion inside us, exactly like the pattern is. We're the one who get anointed with the Myron oil like the icons are. And we get the blessing from the icons because they are consecrated with the Myron oil. But so are you. You are consecrated with the Myron oil. We should really be as holy as the icons. We should be a living icon. A living icon, and people will see, and like, they will see your deeds and your works and glorify your Father in heaven because they can see that you are holy. You are special. How can we be holy? How can we be special? Hmm. Yes. We have to realize that I am, I am God's child. I respect His word. But don't just respect us. Some people, you know, so you may talk to somebody and say, I respect your beliefs, but it's your belief. So respect is a good first step, but we need to go beyond respect. What else? Hmm? Man, we read the Bible, but so many people, there are so many people outside. There are some people in the universities who know the Bible better than you and me, but they don't believe in it. So it's a good second step, but not enough. Hmm. Yes. When we talked about the Bible, huh? Not be like the rest. We have to realize that after coming to the Holy Church, taking from Holy Communion, seeing the Holy Icons and the Holy Vessels and the Holy Everything, the reading the Holy Bible, you must be a holy nation, must be a holy congregation. We must be a holy crowd. We must be holy people. This is the Abuna say the holy is far for the holy. So you must be special. Some, our, our biggest problem, you know, little, you know, everybody, please, it's very important. We keep comparing ourselves to our, to our peers and say, they do this, how come they do this and I don't do that? How come they get to do that? I don't do that. How come do they say this? I don't say that. And we keep comparing us, ourselves, with people who are not, who do not have all these holy things in their lives. And we end up lowering ourselves to their level, talking like anybody else, doing the same things, thinking the same way. But you are holy. You are special. God is calling you for a special purpose. You have to remember that every single day. Somebody here showed me the Agbeya. I think Romania showed me the Agbeya. This is what, how you start the day. Hatli Agbeya, Yeah. One of, the, one of the most beautiful prayers in Agbe in the beginning, what's the first prayer in Agbe? Huh? Our Father, that's easy. Second one? Huh? Second one is what? Huh? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving prayer. The third prayer is? Psalm 50. The fourth prayer is? No, no, no. Come, let us worship. Before Psalm 1. 
Come, let us worship. Then the fifth one, no, not yet. The fifth one, you'll find it in your Agbeya. It's the Pauline epistle. I'll read the Pauline epistle. It's uh, from Ephesians 4, 5 verses, beautiful verses. But just remind us how we are holy. It says, I, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you, beseech you, and I beg you, I ask you dearly. Is it beseech? I plead with you. This is a better translation. I plead with you. So it's not just a, okay, please do it. No, I'm asking you in, in, in a very strong way of asking. I plead with you or beseech you that you have a walk worthy of the calling with which you are called. Called, we are called. You, are, you have a special calling to be holy with all loneliness, gentleness, long suffering, etc. There is one body, one spirit, you are called in one hope of one calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Um, so you are, we are called to, we have a special calling. This specialness reminds us of holiness. But every time you say holy, remember means special, not ordinary, not common. We are called to be special. We're not special, that means we go and feel, I tell other people, I'm better than you. No, we have, we, we're special because we feel God has done so much for us. And this, the, the least I can do is to realize how special I am in his eyes. And being, in, I, sh I should show my appreciation to him by walking in a special way. Not like everybody else does. Not like everybody else says. We are what? Holy, which we are, we are special. We are means we're what? Special. We're set apart. Remember this every morning. Yes, I I, I, tell, I tell God. Yes, I know. I'm called to be special and set apart for you. And every throughout the day, you have to always remember this. Have something to remind you. It could be a little cross in your in your kitchen. It could be a little cross you're wearing. It could be, it could be um, a little verse or psalm. Something reminds you that you are holy and special to the Lord. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.